What's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in again today. Today we're talking about progress and how progress really works. Whether that's losing fat, gaining muscle, getting faster, getting stronger, whatever. Today we're going to talk more specifically about losing weight, but these same principles apply for whatever the goal you're trying to achieve is. Because here's the thing, in terms of progress, everyone thinks progress should look like this. And honestly, theoretically, on paper, that sounds like it should be just like this. You know, like with losing weight, you know, we create the calorie deficit, you know, X many calories eaten less a week equals a pound of fat. And they, you know, theoretically, if you eat in a 500 calorie deficit every day, by the end of the week, you should lose a pound of fat. And like I said, on paper, that sounds, you know, like there should be no reason it looks like this. But here's the thing you've got to understand. Progress does not always work like that. Everyone wants to make fitness and fat loss and all this stuff sound all pretty and fancy and black and white when so much of it's gray. There's so many factors that make it gray because that's not how progress works for 90% of the population. Because here's how progress works. Let's say you're right here, okay? Let's say you progress and lose some weight. Yeah, you're progressing. And then, oh, you fall off the bandwagon because it happens. And then you're like, okay, starting the fitness thing again. Lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. Oh, doing well. Oh, fall off the bandwagon again. Let's all right. Let's try this again. You're gonna lose some weight. Oh, dip way down here. Go back up. Doing well. Oh, not so good. Doing awesome. Not so good. Doing really well. Not so good. Doing well. Bad. You know. And that is what progress looks like. And for most people, that is very depressing. You know. And why wouldn't it be? You look at these low points. You know. That's that. It's easy to get upset and down in the dumps about that. But here's what you got to realize. What's the average of this trend? Looks like a damn near straight line to me. See, see, see what I'm saying? Is it's easy to get upset because this is what most people's progress looks like. Doing well, ah, not so good. Doing well, ah, not so good. Doing well, not so good. That's just how it works for most people. And most people get upset about that because we're, we have a tendency to be closed-minded and all you're focusing on is this or this or this where things are getting bad. We have a tendency to really focus on that and that's not what you want. Because in reality, where you start here is way different than where you're ending up here. Because that is progress, okay? Because what happens, if you get focused on all these little things, you're gonna be upset the whole, part, the whole, the whole journey. But what you gotta realize is two things. There's two factors with progress that everyone forgets about. It's number one, where you're going, what your goal is, okay? Because you're down here, you ended up there, who cares how many times you dipped in the middle? Cause you're in it, you ended up there. Okay. Because I mean, that's like, imagine if you're going on vacation and not saying where you're wanting to go, you're just going to drive around aimlessly and not get there. Okay. So you got to number one, know where you're going. It's like picking your destination and then understand the process. You've got to understand that as humans, we're not perfect. And if you want to enjoy life, go out with friends, hang out, have some pizza every once in a while, that kind of thing you're gonna have experience some dips, which is okay. There's no reason to be perfect and hate this process because you've got to understand how this game works. There's gonna be dips and there's gonna be highs and plenty of lows, but that's the thing. You've got to understand where you're going up here and understand that there will be those dips in the process. It's like going on vacation and expecting not to stop for gas, not to stop for food, and maybe not to stay for the night. Understand you might get a flat on the way and have to deal with it, but end result, your destination. That's that, that's the whole thing with this is so many people I see, they get so upset. They're like, oh my gosh, I gained five pounds. Okay, keep moving forward. It does you nothing to sit here and focus on that five pounds you gained when you're trying to lose weight. But just trust the process, know where you're going and execute on what you know you're to execute on. Eating right, training right, low, lowering your stress, all that stuff. You've got to understand that all that's a big factor in all of this and that you just plug and play and then you'll eventually get to where you want to be because you want to make sure the average trend is going up and don't get caught in the monotonous up and down. So hope all that makes sense. If you got any questions or comments, throw them below. Be sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.